Today I thought we would go through some collections that came in because we got a nice little variety this week uh, and give you an idea of how different the kinds of things that come into the store can be. So I'll start with this long box of gold and silver and bronze age things starting with this 1949 10 cent cover. I've separated out golden age, which is generally the 40s through the late 50s or early 60s. And this was actually an Archie comic, Super Duck. There was a lot of interesting things. This is Cosmo, the Merry Martian also, Archie. And we have a lot of Westerns, as you might imagine. If we're talking about the 1950s, here's a 1943 Western comic. Those don't come in too often. Interestingly, at the time, there was only one staple on comic books. And here's a really nice condition, Tim Tyler, also from the 40s. Another thing that a lot of people collect are photo covers. So these range, again, a lot of Westerns, but also Planet of the Apes and Davy Crockett. A lot of Disney movies had comic books also. So those are always neat to see. In our next section here that I've set aside, Classics Illustrated. Here's an issue 20. They originally came with these drawn covers. A lot of people think of Classics Illustrated as having these beautiful painted covers, and many of them do, but that actually came a little bit later. So here are some examples of Classics Illustrated that have come in. And I'm just going to show you one of the ways that Classics Illustrated stayed in business was to keep everything in print throughout their history. And the way you could tell a first print from a later print is you'd look at the issue number and on the back they would have a reorder coupon and a list of all of the issues you could reorder. And if the final issue on the reorder or highest reorder number matched the cover, that would be a first edition. All of these are first editions except for that number 20, which was a later one. And so a couple more classics, and then we get into superheroes. And before I go into that, I'm going to show you a second collection that came in. It's just a small batch of comic books. This was actually found by a, a local contractor cleaning out a home. It was found in the wall of a home. And these are circa 1983, give or take a year, depending on the issue. Um, there are only two titles represented in this collection, Conan and another one. Um, the interesting thing here is these wraparounds were the early 80s Marvel subscription shipping wraparounds. And... Most of those comics are well read, but the person decided to keep the shipping wraparounds and put them back in. You can see this, sort of the highlight of that collection, because this, in the Walt Simonson era of Thor, is the first appearance of Beta Ray Bill. You can see there's a little pen mark on the cover and a little bit of um, creasing without a color break on the front, but it's still a great key issue with this amazing feature because I had not had any collections come in that had all of those wrappers before. And the fact that they were sitting in a wall in a home, the wrappers are in better condition than the comics. But really fun stuff. All right, so back to the larger collection that we got, which ranged also into the Silver Age of Marvel classics like Spider-Man and Kazar and Doctor Doom battle here. Here's a Black Panther against Doom key fight. DC Comics represented also. Here's an Atom number three, so a very early time travel issue. Most of these are of the kind of comic book I love. They are a little beat up, which means you can read them and not worry about the handling of them or making them in worse condition as long as you handle them with care. Makes them more affordable, too. So I love this awesome Avengers run. And you can see sometimes people are collecting to get every issue. This collection had three copies of Avengers 29. So sometimes people just have random opportunities to get 
neat things. All sorts of key characters. Here's another thing that some people collect are floating head covers. Marvel did that a lot in the 60s. Some Submariner, Diablo. Here's a uh, first appearance of the Quinjet, so I would call that a second tier key comic. Um, some more fun Avengers in there. And then back a little older again, Captain America. This is issue 101. Issue 100 was the first issue that was titled Captain America. So this is right at the beginning of the Silver Age Captain America run. Probably the highlight of this particular collection would be the origin story of Captain America. This is a highly sought after comic book. And Captain Savage and his Leatherneck Raiders is in, in nice shape. Actually, this is in even nicer shape, a nice DC sort of war book from the 60s, Captain Storm. But you can see it's just really clean along the spine and around the outside. And the colors are very vibrant. An early Conan. Would have been nice to have this here when Roy Thomas was here for our Comic-Con. Some early Daredevil issues. I'm a huge fan of Daredevil. Issue 100 in really nice shape. And then here's a Frank Miller issue. One of the most popular from the whole series ever. Silver, uh, Silver Surfer appearance in the Defenders is neat. And old Fantastic Fours with all sorts of heroes and battles between heroes. Here's a nicer condition copy with Galactus and Silver Surfer featured on the cover. And then Flash. I generally bought DC Comics as a kid because there were more self-contained stories, so I didn't feel like I was missing anything from issue to issue. And as we move on, beautiful Justice League, early Warlock, Marvel Tales reprints the early Spider-Man issues. So this is the first appearance of Kraven the Hunter as reprinted in Marvel Tales. These are always neat to get. Issue number five of Sergeant Fury. Obviously, when you're talking about under issue 10, where it's single digits, very early Marvel's, Marvel Silver Age comics, highly sought after. Here's an incredibly beat up copy, but you can still read it and it's $20. I haven't even finished pricing all of these, but I just wanted to share with everyone the variety of things that can come into the store. So early Sergeant Fury, great Silver Surfer issue, Star Wars number six and seven. So this is the climax, the Luke versus Darth battle from the movie. They started the original stories just after that. Strange Tales, Tales of Suspense. We got some neat things going on here. This issue, for instance, was the first Black Widow in costume. And we're getting toward the end of our superhero run here. Thor has some great things. Here's the Thor origin story. So this collection had Iron Man and the Thor. Very popular these days are horror comics from the late 60s and early 70s. So this Chamber of Darkness has one interesting thing. There was a Chamber of Darkness special number one. So this is the first issue, and when they did special number one, they used the same cover art, but they recolored it. And so it's really interesting to see those two together. I don't have the special here today. And then quite a few Western comic books, mostly from the 60s into the 70s. And then a little, well, one science fiction and a little bit of humor. Scooby-Doo, very popular these days. 
Um, and then I'll just finish quickly with a more typical collection that comes in of more recent things. This one happens to have a brand new looking unread graphic novel that we carry in the store all the time. It's not a first print, it's just a graphic novel, lots of X-Men related comics. And then just sort of miscellaneous things, a couple older ones from the 70s, but mostly things from the 90s and 2000s, from Star Wars to X-Men. The Master of Kung Fu. So thanks for sharing that little journey with me.